Nanotechnology in Farming Nanomaterials are tiny materials that help food grow better. The use of nanomaterials is increasing in the food and agriculture industry. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. What is nanotechnology in farming? In agriculture, nanotechnology can be defined as the manipulation of nanoparticles, which measure 1 to 100 nanometers to increase agricultural production. Nanotechnology has recently gained popularity in the field of agriculture due to its effectiveness. Through nanotechnology, scientists made little things that are too small to see with our eyes that can kill bugs and help plants grow. Those who grow food and animals are using nanomaterials to help them. Nanomaterials can be used only if they have been researched first. Research is important to stop bad side effects on plants, animals, and humans. By using nanotools, scientists are able to solve problems in agriculture. This allows farmers to plant crops without harming the plants. When something is really small nano, it can do new things because it is different from larger particles. This special size difference made it possible for scientists to do new things for plants and animals on farms. History of nanotechnology in agriculture. People need food to eat. In addition, many poor countries earn a lot of their money from their agricultural production. Scientists are trying to increase food production by using nanotechnology. This will help feed the world and save farmers more money. In the old days, scientists couldn't see very well with microscopes because they could only see things that were big. In 1981, scientists started to be able to see things that were small like atoms. They did this with new microscopes. Nanotechnology has been used in many different fields, including agriculture. In the past few years, nanotechnology changed how food is grown, and it keeps getting better. Nanoparticles are tiny particles that you can't see, but they are in our food. They are used to make some foods safer and to make other foods easier to package. Benefits of nanotechnology in agriculture Nano is the Greek word for dwarf. It is really small stuff, like really, really, really small. There are nanoscience and nanotechnology fields. When this technology is used in agriculture or farming, it can have a huge benefit. 1. Nano-based agrochemicals. Nanotechnology is a new and better way to get plants the nutrients they need. For example, we can use nanotechnology to make fertilizer that is easier for plants to use. Nanocopper is a good fertilizer. It gives plants nutrition and protects them from disease. Nanonitrogen is another common fertilizer. Farmers can use nanotechnology to kill weeds without hurting the crops. 2. Nanotechnology for genetic plant engineering. Scientists have made flowers and plants stronger by using genetic reprogramming. They have done this so the plants can be resistant to things that hurt them. Bits of DNA from plants with good traits could make plants more productive. It would help plants live in different conditions. 3. Plant Disease Diagnosis Some molecules can be used to help find plant diseases before they spread to other plants. They help scientists by detecting plant diseases and letting farmers know what to do about them. Many plants get sick. Scientists are using tiny machines to help doctors find plant diseases. Special machines can also tell if foods are bad before we eat them. 4. Nanotechnology in post-harvest management Using nanomaterials, scientists are trying to make seeds last longer. This will help farmers after they've harvested their crops. New nanotechnology can help us keep food fresher longer. That could save people money or stop them from throwing away food they didn't finish eating. 5. Nanotechnology in animal breeding and animal health. Scientists use nanotechnology to make sick animals better. Scientists also use it to find diseases in animals. 
The old way was to try out different medicine on different animals, and that was hard and expensive. The new way is to use nanoparticles. This is easier and cheaper. Someday, it might be possible to use nanotools in chickens. Nanomaterials have been used experimentally in chickens. These materials can make them stronger and healthier. Disadvantages of nanotechnology in agriculture As much as nanotechnology has positively impacted agriculture, there are concerns that need to be addressed. Besides, the application of nanotech concepts in agriculture is still in the experimental stages. Bioaccumulation Metal particles can build up in the bodies of animals that eat the plants. This process is called bioaccumulation. It happens because animals don't get rid of things they eat fast enough. With time, it can cause health problems in animals. Unpredictability The long-term effects of most nanoparticles are still unknown. We need more research to better understand nanobased materials used in agriculture. Phytotoxicity Phytotoxicity describes any condition that can inhibit plant growth. Engineered nanoparticles can cause toxicity in plants if they are used improperly. Nanotechnology promotes sustainable agriculture. Nanotechnology applications can increase crop productivity while reducing environmental pollution. The use of nanotech concepts in farming and livestock keeping can improve food security in the world. Nonetheless, more research needs to be done on nanoparticles. This will help scientists avoid possible complications that may result from the use of nanomaterials. Thanks for joining us today. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning and visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.